today we are in a BMW 430 M Sport. Diesel. Yeah. M Sport. A little bit different. I've not traded the Range Rover in. Just having a little bimble. It's got some buttons down here and it has got twat mode on it. <laughs> but I'm not using that because I need all the help I can get. So we'll just go for a little tinkle and uh, see what we think to it. It's got eight speed ZF gearbox in it with paddles. I'm not used to them either, so I won't touch them. It's seen quite low down, isn't it? Yeah. I'm obviously used to the Range Rover. Yeah, I was going to say it must feel like a go kart. Too. Yeah. Feels quite smooth. A little bit more power than my dad's one. He's obviously got the 120D. <coughs> I think in its day that was 160 horsepower. What's this? 256. 256. Speed limited 255. We won't be doing any of that today either. It is bloody miserable out here. Slippy roads. But he. That's got a bit of going, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, the Range Rover's got quite a bit of power, but um, weighs nearly three ton. What's this way? Uh, One point seven, I believe. Feel it twitch with the old traction yeah. control cutting. Yeah, it's like, straight and it grips it. Yeah, you just feel it start going. But when you do get sliding with this, is it quite controllable? Yes. So that E28 I had was the most controllable car I've ever had when the RCN started going out. I loaded it 40 mil and you could just drift it. And you just get that RCN going and you could steer into it all the way around a bend. It's yeah. so controllable. To do that, you need to be in sport plus mode because sport yeah. mode will control the power and it will take the control away from you, yeah. even with the paddles. <coughs> sport plus, it limits the traction and it just lets you slide and it's over the top. Well, I'm not going to touch the, uh, the twat button today. <laughs> Well, I'd say just bear in mind you are in comfort mode at the moment, not sport, where it's not even giving you the revs oh, for right. an acceleration. Well, how do you get it in sport? Tap that once on the screen, well, shows you the sport. It. Yeah, feel it straight away, just lets it hunt. Yeah. Well, here, we're in sport. We're not going in sport plus, because that would be silly. Roads are a bit wet. And they need to get back home in this car. I don't think they'll appreciate going back to uh, the UK and the Panda. <laughs> yeah, right, Alfie, I'll just put your car in the ditch. Take, take, take the panda. <laughs> Is this whistling, will you? No, it's a different one. Right, let's just give it a bit of a. Sport Plus is a bit more than that. Or sport Plus. Or is the power the same as Sport? No, it, it pushes more in Sport Plus and the traction, like in a, in a straight line, you can feel it starting to spin the wheels and grip in. Sport Plus, it won't, it'll let it spin. You can initiate slides. Yeah. Um, it's it's another world. Give it a go. Does it change the gearbox as well? Yes, and when you map these, you map the engine and you map the gearbox. Yeah. I know on the Range Rover, you've obviously got, on my version, 3.6, you've got your stick, which park, reverse, neutral drive, and then you knock it out to the side um, for sport. If you don't touch it... Yeah, that like that. Yeah. So, and that will just hold it in the revs a bit longer while before it changes gear. Yeah. And then you can do Tiptronic on it. Um, the 4.4, just after my one, same year, 2010 4.4, the eight-speed gearbox with the paddles. So, and it's got a rotary thing for the gears. Yeah. 
if, with this, if you look, when you knock over to go manual, to go forward is down, uh, not up. I can't remember what it is on our Range Rover. I'm pretty sure they're the other way around on the Range Rover. Probably. Let's go up here if we can get through it. TD6 was left, uh, right hand drive. You're good. Trees or hedges. 
And our trees look in this beer that of course you So yes, this has been the BMW 430M Sport Jobby. It's blue and it's fast. We're in sport mode, but we're on shit roads. <laughs> yeah. How do you go back to eco or com comfort? Oh look at that. We're in comfort now. Now oh, eco pro. Eco pro. Is it doing more miles to the gallon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like about eight miles over a half hour journey. Oh yeah. right. Yeah, that look at the club. Yeah. It just wants to go even in this old guy club. So what do you think to that? Bloody marvellous. Now, will I be getting one? Um, probably not. It's not as practical as the Range Rover. Um, it's not as good in a field as the Range Rover. But by Christ, it does go, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm hoping that the other camera was still recording when I was giving it a bit of a bootfall. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of a quick video. This is Alfie's car, my sister's fella. Um, they've come out for a little visit. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been... Rather entertaining, uh, for me at least. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.